90 students who perform well in the last GCE session have been awarded financial support or scholarship by FACO Women, an elite association of women from the FACO division. These 90 students come from all the subdivisions of FACO in the southwest region of Cameroon. FACO Women and their donors raised a total of 2,016,000 francs for this project. Former Vice Chancellor of the University of Boya, Professor Dorothy Lemunga Joma, expressed her appreciation for FACO Women's Good Initiative as they strive to encourage students to excel in their studies. Reflecting on her own past, she mentioned that during her time as a student, there were no schools in her area. She had to further her studies in neighboring Nigeria thanks to a scholarship and she was the top student in her class. Um, I want to congratulate women, Fako women, the Nigeria students, for this wonderful evening. My older sister going uh, to school in Nigeria. And in those days, there were no secondary schools for girls in this part of the country. And so we had to go to Nigeria. And uh, it was, uh, it was always uh, a wonderful feeling uh, to be called up to receive prizes. The interim president of the association, Honorable Enanga Georgiana, alongside the regional delegate of secondary education for the southwest region, Dr. Hannah Etonde Mboa, along with the pioneer vice chancellor of the University of Boya, Professor Dorothy Lemunga Joma, and other influential women of FACO division, are determined to ensure that this initiative continues. Uh, we all know that we are in an era where things have changed. The world has become a kind of digital community and it is through education that children can get into that kind of world. We are in the era of technology and when children go to school and they perform well, it is good to encourage them. The FACO women went through the results this time and considering the fact that we are in the kind of uh, area where children study in fear because of the crisis that we have, we thought that we should come out and encourage these children. FACO division has subdivisions, not just Boya. We have Muyuka, Yedinao, Tiko, and you go down to Limbe, one, two, three. And when children in Moyuka could study and pass, we just knew that if these children are encouraged, they will perform better. And that's why we came up with this idea that we should encourage our children. The organizers also took the opportunity to urge parents to send their children to school emphasizing that education is the key to breaking free from a life of servitude. FACO Division is known for its strong focus on education and development in the southwest region. So I'm very grateful. Then I'm also proud of myself and also grateful. Like my parents who have my motivation all through. I'm grateful. Nice to of Luasi Science and just go to GC on that level. And I'd like to thank God Almighty first because it's very hard to get there to go, so not easy. Generally when the bird is on top of you, but my school really looks on top of you. You look above when they look at me. You know. Secondly, I'd like, to thank the, I'd like to thank the Minister of Secondary Education, Madame Naluba. I'd like to thank Apopaito, the Bishop. I'd like to also thank my parents and my teachers. I'd like to tell them that thank you very much, that this will help me very well. And you give me encouragement. You give me encouragement to even work for that 25 points. Well, it was unexpected. It just sent it to me. I was caught off guard, but I really appreciate, you know, at least somebody appreciated my performance and seeing me out. And I was giving the honor the whole of today, so I'm really happy. 
FACO Women and other associations such as FACO America and various prominent elites are actively giving back to the community. Our Changing the world.